rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the chest. since this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd helped just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother yeah, asking the yeah. others. Okay. There was too great All a right. risk someone would what take I it really to solve. Besides, uh, only the vets understand what we no. have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the yes. contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. He's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suit. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. 
Raffens, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, even. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Stairs it is, then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Box cards! What cards? Oblong cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! 
Well, V, the card in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any.
gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kinda cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, Fee. Speed.
Take care of this myself. is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnical, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. B. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. You wait. Take care. <laughs> 